Hey guys, it is me, Lightning, and today we're going to be reviewing the official Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Catnap Plush. As you guys can see, I ordered one of the first 250 plushies, so I was able to receive the exclusive Catnap pin, giving us a good look at Catnap. He has a little ripped ear, some gas, and it has an amazing card. Mine is sadly dent to rest in peace for that. But as, as you guys can see, it's amazing quality. Got some indents here in the back. Of course, it has all these manufacturing things and also says an official Poppy Playtime product. So it is amazing to see that. So we got a limited edition rare catnap pin along with the catnap plush. Sadly, if you buy the plush now, you cannot get the pin, but you can still get this amazing looking plush. This is not a sponsor of the video, if you're wondering. And I will be saying my honest review. So without further ado, let's just go open up catnap. I kind, of just, I kind of like destroyed the package that Catnap kind of came in, but that's totally fine. Let's just get Catnap out of here and let's just go and actually see, you know, Catnap. Hit the light, but this is Catnap, as you guys can see. Very interesting because my Catnap had its mouth like, I don't know, like open, like a lot more open. But as you guys can see, this is Catnap and it's really good. Catnap comes with the playtime code tag and in the back it doesn't say anything except for the whole brand and the whole scanning code, maybe barcode for in store soon who knows but as you guys see can i come to the zipper that you can actually open and close i did not even think you could do that but they actually somehow did that and as you guys can see come to the moon charm i would like the moon charm to be a metallic gold type like in the game but that's definitely okay i guess they didn't do that but as you guys can see you can open up and it's nothing, it's just for aesthetic purposes, as they said. Just like the official one that they made for the Chapter 3 gameplay trailer, you can't really put anything inside of it. But in the game, you put the scent in here, you pull the tail, and then gas will come out of the mouth. But yes, it's really interesting how they're actually able to add a, you know, a zipper that actually functions in here. That is really great. Also, the arms are pretty, like, stiff. They're not, like, dangly, but you could adjust them. And of course, as you guys can see, they're just like the regular old paws. Still pretty interesting, really do love them. As you guys can also see in the back, we got ourselves here the Poppy Playtime logo. And of course, the uh, Culture Fly tag, because they're the manufacturers of the plush. And also the long 18-inch tail. As you guys can see, it's a long tail. Catnap definitely has a long tail, but it just wraps around. Because if you do not know, Catnap's like, what, 14 inches tall? And of course, the tail is extremely long, like a lot longer. So now let's go and actually look at, you know, the main feature, Catnap's head. Because beside that, everything about Catnap is pretty good. Really do love it. Of course, except for the whole entire face, because I do feel like the nose should have been small. And also, my nose is scratched. That sucks. As you guys can see, my nose got some damage there. That really does suck. And also, the eyes aren't as big and popping out as I thought. So the eyes, oh, okay, I really do like them. The ears, of course, are a little bit too, in my opinion, like thick. They kind of like pop out, as you guys can see in the uh, game and everything else. It looks like it has hollow inside, but this is really stuff. And you can see on the other side is the exact same thing, but Catnap does still have his gaping hole in his mouth. As you guys can see, it's as huge. He has a huge smile. It isn't as big as in the game or the detailed plush that I would wish would be bigger and also the hair a little vent here. But beside that, it's still a good plush. If yours come in like that or like really opened up, just squeeze like this. It's like cardboard in here. All you have to do is like squeeze it in place. I think shipping does that to the plush as you guys can see because you keep doing that you close his mouth do like that squeeze him down and he should reform back to his original shape you can also do like that on the side so you can get back to his smiling old critter self but as you guys can see also the fur is also a different interesting choice i don't think the game also has that type of reflective fur and in the back that's how catnap just looks Kind of just simple, you know, but beside that, the plush is pretty great. I do love it. It is an interesting plush. You can hold it. You can do, like, you know, different things with it. I'm definitely going to have it on the shelf for collector's reasons, but yeah, I definitely do like the plush. It could be better in many different ways. I do definitely do think the plush could have been a lot better, but beside that, it is a great plush, but it does cost, I think, like, what, 40-something bucks? So it is expensive, but it is an okay and detailed plush. It isn't the best plush they ever it is. This is, of course, the first catnip plush that they're selling. Catnap. I say catnip. And if you did get yourself a pin, that's a good bonus because it's pretty rare and it's also only 250 ever made. So it's a good pin to get with an okay looking plush. You know, I say it's okay looking because it's. It, I, I really do love it, I want to say. Honest opinions, I really do love this plush. I do think it could have been better in lots of different ways, like a metallic uh, charm, smaller nose, bigger mouth flatter ears like those are the only couple of things i have against it 
So without further ado, I'll definitely give this plush a rating of a 7 out of 10. Those three things, of course, could have made it a lot more better, but it's a great catnap plush. So if you have it coming in, look forward to it. It's a great plush. And if you do not get if you do not have one, then it's okay because you could go get one. It's not sponsored the sponsor of the video. But yeah, let's just hope later on in the future they'll make a more realistic looking catnap plush. But stay tuned because later I will be uploading my grumpy huggy plush review because he also came in like same day. So expect a review for that later on, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Good bye.